Oh, welcome to the 2023-24 Rugby United season, featuring referees. Um, this is New York Talks post-match reaction, instant reaction, where we're going to talk through the 2-2 draw, 2-0 two, two ahead against Blackburn Rovers, ended in 2-2. Um, <laughs> this is when instant reactions are not a good idea, Mick, to be honest with you. No. Just overviews, we'll go into the specifics in a minute, but just overviews on the overall performance and how good a result it is. Um, it's a dreadful result, isn't it? Okay. I mean, ultimately, you can't, you can't argue, you can't argue it any other way. It's a shocker of a result. The performance was all right, no problem at all. I thought the first five five minutes or so they sort of overran us a little mm. bit in terms of the passing, but they were all again all style, no substance, weren't they? Yeah. Um, they were given a penalty, which I have no idea whether it was. I have to look, watch that back, which they missed, um, and then it just went downhill from there, didn't it? Oh, no, it went, went all right until 40. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, all right, fair enough, yeah. Um, look, overall as a performance, you've got to be happy with that. Uh, so much better than... Different, it looked a different team compared yeah, yeah. to Stoke came, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, so much better than last week, so much better, so much more effective uh, and looked dangerous mm. uh, a lot of the time, particularly on the break. So I, I have no issue with the performance of the team at all, personally. <laughs> yeah, let's bring on Mr Madley, uh, the man the centre of the tension. I think it's the way he likes it as well, to be fair. Um, let's start with the Fred on you dim the yellow cards, Mick. The second one, the first one, sorry, was from the goal. Yep. He celebrated and went into the crowd. I've watched the replays. He does go into the crowd. Yep. So technically, that's unfortunately the right decision. I don't like the rule, but technically the referee's made the right decision. Yeah. We, yeah. He has. The rule's ridiculous, but it is what it is. With, with the, he has made the right decision. No problem with that. And yellow card number two is again. I don't like saying this, but it's technically the right decision. The Fred Onye Dimna has gone yellow card, asking for a yellow card. And as we saw in the community shield last season with Mikel Arteta, you can't do that. No. And I have, I have very little sympathy for Onye Dimna because these guys would have been briefed about it. These, these players would have been briefed about pre-season, about the new implementations and the new interpretations and all this sort of stuff. By this That's, referee, I think. Probably by this referee, yeah. It's a really silly yellow card, second yellow from Fred, isn't it? Yeah. I've, I've no arguments with it, unfortunately, much as I'd like to. Um, I have plenty of arguments about other stuff. Uh, but no, I, I have no, no issue with it. It's just, I don't agree with the rules. I think the rules are ridiculous. I, and I know people have banged on about this player's giving it this one and, and it should be a card for years. I don't agree. It's just, it, it's, just, it's just childishness. And if people want to make themselves look childish, then let them. Yeah. I don't understand why. Uh, it's, it's, for me, it's more an indictment on uh, the referees who think that if, if players are allowed to do it they're going to be influenced by it yeah I mean what, what really <laughs> I mean yeah just that's ridiculous if you're, so, if you're influenced by an imaginary card you're probably in the wrong job aren't yeah they? precisely yeah yeah, yeah. Um, then the, then becomes let's talk about positives first make two goals Hakim Adolphin scoring a very <laughs> similar goal to last season yeah yeah and to be fair to fair we talk about his yellow cards that header stunner oh, it? beautiful stunner I like Alan Clark from <laughs> Leeds United in early 70s in the FA Cup final Absolute beaut diving header. People in my age might remember that. <laughs> Nobody else will. But it's it was a dated reference. It was a cracking diving header. Uh, what a what a free kick from Cafu. Oh, you know, it was yeah. just an absolute peach of a free kick. Um, so and, and two really good goals. And I keep really saying it. Goals. I keep saying it. Teams in this division are not good enough to consistently play out front back. No. And they've shown it again today. For the, like I said, for the first five or ten minutes, all style, no substance. Mm. They got a shot on goal, which they managed to miss. In, the, in terms of the penalty, I've not seen that back yet, so we'll have to see what that was. But but yeah. but you can't play out front back. No. Why? Why would you? No. Because you, they constantly found themselves under pressure and in trouble. That's our first goal, Ken. And yet you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. It's just madness. But anyway, let that, let's hope that there are another 23 teams in this league who carry on doing it, who want to carry on doing it, because it's, it's party time, that, isn't it? Yeah. Just back on the referee, and we've, we've got to talk about this, the... The inconsistencies. Now, this comes from kicking the ball away. Who got booked it first half? Rick Dexter. Yes. Dexter McKees got a booking in the first half because he kicked the ball away. We'll, we'll, we'll gloss over that one slightly. Why? But let's assume it's, let's assume it's a valid yellow card. Uh, well, my argument is that it's not a valid yellow card because he kicked the ball away before the referee blew the whistle. We'll need to look back at that one. Well, that's, that's, we'll look, that's, I'm nailing my colours okay. to the, that mast. The referee didn't blow until after he'd kicked the ball. That's fine. So, unless Dexter's a mind reader... You know, that's, but the, that's un, in the second half, yeah. after Fred had been sent off for two soft yellers, yep. 
Sammy Smodic kicked the ball away. Yes. After, after after the ball had been kicked. Yep. And that wasn't given as a yellow card. And Dex and Victor questioned the referee. He didn't give it one of these, he questioned the referee. Yep. And the referee booked Victor yes. for asking why it wasn't a yellow card. Yep. That's inconsistency. Yep. And that's where the problem if you want to send Fred off for that, that's the rules. That's fine. That's where the inconsistency comes, and that for me is the problem. Yeah. Yeah, you make a run for your own back. You either do it all the time or don't do it at all. Yeah. You can't pick and choose when you do do it. And unfortunately, we all know why you didn't give him a yellow card. Because he were already on a yellow card. Because he were card. already on a yellow. Yeah. That's why you didn't do it. Um, so it's, 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 it's plain and simple. Kick the ball away yeah. after the whistle's gone. And uh, almost every other time, but not actually every other time, that's given us a yellow card. Depends what colour shirt you're wearing. Well, it would appear that's the case, but I mean, let's not get down that route because that's clearly not the case. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, it's not. But it just, it, that's how it feels. Yeah. You know, we are two games into this season and we are still talking about refereeing decisions. There's two more. There's two, two more. key decisions now for me that need to be that, that we need to discuss. I'm sure we'll discuss it in, fa- in, in a lot of length on the podcast tomorrow night, on, on Sunday night. The first goal... It's not a corner. It's not a corner. Didn't go out. The linesman has given the corner. He's not stood on the line. He's had to, he's had to run probably three, or fa- three to five yards yeah. to get to the line before he's given the corner. He's looking through two posts, netting and seven players, and the whole of Victor's body from his yeah. feet upwards. And he's given that as a corner. It's mm. not a corner. The no, ball not. did not go out. And the, re- and the linesman... He's guessed. He's guessed. He's guessed. And he's not in a position to give it, but he's given it. Yeah. And, and, and they, they go on and score from it. And so it's all downhill from there. When, when, when you're 2 0 down, and especially with 10 men, yeah. if that first goal goes in, that's it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like it's, it's so difficult to stop the rot. That's but a shocking decision, it's, a it's, dreadful yeah. decision. These are all game changing decisions. Uh, and well, and as it you, turned you, out, you look yeah. at the Smodics one, we, 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 in, in isolation, you look at it and think, oh, it's, just, it's nothing. But if, he, if they go down to 10 men, they can't attack the way that no. they do. It's, it's a crucial decision at an important time in the game, having yeah. just gone down to 10 men. Look, I'm, I'm not. The, the, the bottom line is, if he's not sure, don't give it. Yeah, exactly. You've got to be sure, and yeah. there is absolutely no way on this earth that linesman was sure that ball went out. Not at all. No. Can't possibly have been. The second one, we will we will wait, because there are some question marks about whether Gallagher was offside. We need to watch the replay properly to have a look at it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any question marks as whether he was offside, because he was. It's whether or not he was interfering yeah. with play. Um, um, but that will, we'll save that one for the podcast. Yeah. Um... I think there was some really good performances. I think that we shouldn't forget about the positives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really, I, it's difficult to pick. There may be one player you could say had a bad game. Everybody else was pretty good. I was pretty impressed with everybody else. Um, so let's not be too negative. We will end it there, Mick, unless you've got anything else to add. I'm going to end up with my name on this wall here, RIP Mick, at some stage, if this continues, because this is just, I mean, I, yeah, it's dreadful, isn't it? It's tough to watch, but this is the life of a Rotherham United <laughs> fan. Thank you, everybody who has watched. Please make sure you've subscribed on the YouTube channel if you haven't done it. Speak close to the mic while the bike uh, goes louder. Um, <laughs> please do subscribe, like the video, give it a share across your socials as well. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the pod. Make sure you listen. I'll wait for the bike to go. Make sure you watch the podcast Sunday evening where Mick's head will explode again and we'll get somebody else's head to explode as well <laughs> as we berate Bobby Madley. Sorry, Bobby, and sorry, Howard, if you watch the podcast. It's not not going to be a positive one for the referees. Um, Thank you, everybody, and we will see you next time. Up the Millers. Up the Millers.